Hello people, so we are back out on the lake boat. Everybody was waiting for the lake boat to come back into the water this year. It's back, don't worry, we're back in action. Um, today the plan for action is we are going to be out for some trout out on the lock. Um, we're fishing on a Sunday morning. Um, there's a bit of a trout competition with the club today, so I might measure a few trout as we're going along. But we're just out for a bit of crack basically. Um, it's the first day out on the lake boat this year. Everybody was asking where's the lake boat. It's right here. We're back in action. Um, it's great cracks fishing in the big aluminium boats that we use for the competitions and stuff like that. Um, but I think fishing out of a lake boat, it's a lot more relatable to most of the audience. Not everybody has stuff like live scope and uh, I think a large majority of the people watching these videos are people who troll and you know fish traditional methods as well. Um, having a bit of boat on the channel is a really good way of doing things. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, you can see there the weather today. It's overcast, hopefully it stays like that. Um, there's a slight breeze, but not much of a breeze. I'd rather more of a wind while we're fishing for trout, personally. Um, but we'll get a few, I'm confident we'll get a few. It's early season, usually there's a few trout knocking about. So I'll show you the layout of the boat that we have at the minute. Um, all I have with me today is three rods. I'm gonna be fishing with two of them. One is a spare. I have the small trout net for landing the trout, obviously. A few pliers and scissors for unhooking the trout. Um, two lure boxes, that's all you need. Loads of lures in there. Everything you can imagine. Have a measuring board. Because I measure the, boat, the fish, I don't really weigh them, to be honest. Unless they're like, huge. Weighing them, or measuring them is way quicker for me anyway, because, I don't know, if you're getting a few fish a day and you're measuring, weighing every one of them, you'd be there all day trying to weigh a fish. You can just measure them, throw them back within 20 seconds, it's really good. Um, I bring a bigger net, on the off chance, you know, we meet a big fish, as well as the small net. Um, small waterproof bag because it's Ireland, it's probably going to rain <laughs> I usually have a bucket of water up in front of the boat to keep the boat down as I'm driving and yeah I'm just going to put the fish finder under now and we're going to get out and fish for some trout on the first week of the opening season I didn't get out last week, the weather was terrible and that's why we were on the rivers but we're out here now again and we'll be out here a lot more from now on so without further ado let's get fishing Yes, fishing time, let's go. Lots of foam in the water. It must have been heavy winds yesterday. Turn on the fish finder for the mapping. Yes, let's go. Right, so I'm going to quickly go over the fishing setups I have with me today. So the rods that I use for trout fishing on the lake are called Robinson Toshido. Um, you can get them from Wild Hunt, they're really good rods, they're only affordable as well, really good prices. 6 to 20 grams, I use the 8 foot size. Um, I have two and a half thousand size reels on them, one is a Shimano, one is a Daiwa, and it's 0.1 braid um, with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader and I'm using a, an assortment of lures, um, everything from Rapala, Salmo, all little small trout twitch baits, everything you can imagine really. Um, that's basically the setup lads, really simple. You can use whatever you want to catch these trout. You don't need to use what I'm using, but this is just what I prefer to use. And I'm, I'm obviously I'm gonna share the information with G. So uh, make sure to hit that like button and let's keep fishing. So I'm just picking out a lure to start off with. Um, we've loads of options now, so I think I'm gonna play it safe and go for the countdown at least on one rod and I'll mix it up on the other rod with something completely different, maybe a bigger lure. Um, actually no, I'm going to change this to a bigger lure. No, I'll start off with this one. And uh, we'll work our way along and see what we can catch. Changing the lure throughout the day to see what the trout want. So I'm going to start off doing a bit of trolling. I have a larger lure on here. This is the Mega Bass Vision. Um, early morning there might be a big trout knocking about that'll take this. It's a 11 centimeter lure. So we're after a big trout today. We'll take anything though. No, just gonna fish that close behind the boat and we'll get the other rod out. Alright lads, go into a fish. I don't know what this is yet. I hit the hard for the rod pretty hard. Hopefully it's a shelf, I don't know. Hopefully it's not a pike. Yes, 
What a start. Brilliant start to the session. Now guys, first fish of the day. What a fish to get. Make sure you hit that like button just for this fish alone. Later the lure out in deep water. Just started fishing for the day. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come. Really nice fish. There she is. Unreal, beautiful wild brown trout. We're gonna get a release here now. So that's a great start to the day. And um, hopefully there's a, the breeze continues because I hate when it goes quiet, when there's no wind for trout, it gets really hard. So hopefully that continues. Let's stay plugging away, see what else we can catch. Now let's get the rods back out for a bit more trolling while it's working. There you go, oh, a little bit more line. Perfect. Good rod right out. We're into a fish, guys. I had to drag nice and loose on purpose for anyone that, that's wondering. There he is. Oh, another trout in the net. Good going. Now oh, guys, fish number two. Smaller than the first guy. This guy's about 37 centimeters, so he's much smaller. But um, a little bit lower. I had a hit just before that and I missed it, so I just got this guy. Beautiful wild trout. Look at him. Drop him back here. There he goes. See you later, buddy. It's so cool to see him swim away like that. Trout are such cool fish. Love fishing from. So let's keep going. Okay, good start in the morning. Let's get the lures back out and get another one. Drag nice and loose so we don't pull the head off him. Like small. It's only a baby. Lovely fish. Now that's this is the third trout of the day. It's only a small one. Hit the lower good bang again. We're getting back in the water. There he goes. It was full of life, so we'll get back fish. Right, so we're into another one. It was just back behind the boat, about 50 yards. Got him trolling, obviously. It's good fun, you can see, you can feel him banging away on this light rod. You wouldn't really get much of a fight on a big heavy rod. Trout number four for the day. Four landed, one lost. It's good going. We'll get him unhooked in a sec. Now, here's something quite interesting. This is what this trout is after spitting up a roach that size. So, if you're wondering if your lures are too big or too small, this is only a small trout. And look what he's after spitting up. That's what the big lads are eating to get big. Pretty cool. Okay, so, we have Five fish landed on the clicker and we've lost one more, so let's keep fishing. Now so, we're just working our way along. It is currently 9 o'clock in the morning, we have five fish landed. It's good going so far. Sometimes it comes in in spurts, so we might not get a bite for a while, but hopefully we will. We'll keep plugging away anyway. Good crack. 
Okay, so we're into a fish. This one again is on the litter of Tyler. Doesn't feel like a big fish. I think it's only a small one. Yep. Yeah. Now so chart number six. Only a little baby will jump straight back here. Off he goes, good stuff. So we're going well. Good stuff. Let's get the rods back out. So we're just working away down the shoreline here. Three to four miles an hour. Looking for some active fish. Fish on. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, fish in the net. Now, guys, fish number seven. It's full of life. It's going to drop him back here quickly. Good stuff. Okay guys, we're into a fish. I don't think this is a huge fish. The way it, it hit the lure, it looked quite small. It was quite a gentle take. But he could be deceiving us, I don't think so though. I think it's just a small fish. Yeah. Baby. No, there he is, just a little baby. We'll drop him back. See you, buddy. Go into a fish, guys. Now lads, there he is, another small fish. Really nice colours though. Let's see you buddy. Where's the clicker? Fish number nine. There's a fish. We've got one hooked up here. Got him spinning, made a good bang. It's here inside me. I think this is fish number 10. There we go. Nice little silver guy. Let's get one hooked here and back in the water. It's only a small guy. Okay guys, shout number 10 for the day. This guy's got some bite marks on his back. Somebody had to go with him. See ya dude. Let's go going. Another one spinning, so click it. Number 10, good stuff. Okay, so enter another one here. Doesn't feel huge. Tighten up the drag, bring him in.
small trout. I'll take off the gloves so I can grab them. Now guys, camera's a bit wet. There's number 11. Drop him back. There he goes. Nice wet footage. Guys, it's very wet. <laughs> yeah, that's into a trout. the rod tight. Hey small guy. Now guys, another fish, number 12, drop him back. There he goes. Now give this a click. There we go. Hey guys, went to a fish. Feels like a good one. Keeping the rod down, stopping from jumping. It's very hard to know how big the chow is. If he's just hooked under the chin, it can put in a lot of resistance. Oh, this is a perch. Oh, it was just a perch anyway, so we'll keep going. Oh, it's cold, lads. If you're still watching at this point, fair play to you. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps the channel to grow. Um, so we're kind of an hour or two left, maybe two hours. Um, maybe two and a half hours. Um, fishing's gone a bit slow, but we're still plugging away. Um, enjoying it, having a bit of crack. Be sure to hit that like button lads, like I said, it really helps us out. I'm absolutely freezing, the sandwiches are wet from all the rain, <laughs> so we're putting in the effort here. So uh, yeah, let's keep plugging away. Okay lads, we're into a fish. He hit the door so hard. I was holding the rod this time, I usually am. This guy just pumped it. Don't know what size he is. Bring him in and see. I don't think he's very big. He's probably just hooked sideways. He's coming in there on the surface. He's not very big at all. He's hooked on there. No, there we go. Another beautiful trout. See you, dude. Off he goes. No. Number 13. Okay, just have a fish here now. This guy hated an awful thump. He's not bad, Chuck. It's a small guy. Get him unhooked and released. <laughs> there he goes, just released himself. That was trout number. Oh, check the clicker. That was trout number 14. So we have about two hours left, lads. I'm soaked to the bone. Fishing's good, but uh, what else would you be at? You have to be mad to be a fisherman. Okay, into another one here. Feels like a good one. 
always so hard to tell, isn't it? Get some white water off the lens. Come on. Better look at that. Only a small guy again. What is going on with all these small trout? Where's the big lads? This is crazy. No, another small guy going back. There he goes. Get the clicker. Number 15. Now lads, <laughs> it has been raining constantly for the last three and a half hours. The waterproofs are really being tested. You know, I feel like I'm wet to be honest. I think the water's getting in. But yeah, I might head in in the next hour because I'm freezing. <laughs> we have 15 fish, so we can't be complaining. Oh, finally the rain has stopped. Time to go back in. The day is over and I am soaked to the bone. Let's see if we can catch one more fish on the way back to the harbour. Okay, we're on again. I literally just cast the rod back out. Another little lad. Got to lift this guy over here to the side of the boat. Now, trout number 16, going back. There he goes. Get the clicker. Woohoo! Everything is wet. Now, lads, we're into a fish. It's just about to head in. I thought he was bigger than this, but he's not. Nice small guy, we're just gonna lift him. <sighs> so there's number 17, another little baby. Gorgeous fish, good luck. See ya, buddy. <sighs> click, click. Oh, I have to go in soon. Now, so I'm just gonna end the video here, lads. It's actually the next day. We ended up winning the competition. We had 17 trout. Um, the biggest trout of the day was 50 centimeters and to the V in the tail is where we take the measurement from, from the competition. It was 48 centimeters. It was really nice fish in really good condition. And we had loads of other small fish throughout the day. Um, they were really active all around the lake. Um, really good to get back into the competition scene. First one of the year, first win, um, good crack. I just like being out and meeting all the lads again. Um, so I'm away this weekend. I'm gonna put this video up over the Easter weekend. Um, we're going over away to Poland for the weekend and we'll be back out fishing then after we get home. So enjoy watching the video lads. Don't forget to hit that like button and uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you out here next time.